What's going on YouTube? It's Alex here back again and three videos in one day. Um, I'm really busy. You probably see by the state of my room I've been doing fish tank stuff. Uh, there is crap everywhere that's all pulled out. I've done filter maintenance. I've been doing bog wood. Uh, I've been out today and bought a load of plants and uh, plant stuff. I've been real busy and uh, I've already made two videos today, uh, two video requests. and um, So go check those out if you haven't already. So these are the plants I've got today. Um, bought some foreground plants, mid-ground plants, background plants, and a crap load of seacone products. So, if you don't know already, the substrate I'm going to be using is um, Tropica plant substrate, which is pretty much a, uh, a dirt, but specially sort of made for uh, aquariums. And uh, it's got clay in it and other stuff, other good stuff. Um, much like the substrate Dustin uses, but sort of commercially branded. Um, so, I just want to show you the plants I've got. These are my foreground plants. They're Crypt Wendy, I believe. Crypt Wendy. I'm not sure on that. Tell me if you guys think any different. But, it's just a little, a little close-up for you. Uh, with enough iron and nutrients, their leaves will go a nice dark brown like this. Um, apparently. That's what I've been told from the shop I bought them from, which is Emperor Tropicals. If you live in the UK, in the southwest, you should really check out Emperor Tropicals. Um, they've got a um, shop in Plymouth and a shop in Tavistock, which is where I live. Uh, they've got a website. They are really great for fish and plants, so go check them out. So this is my foreground plant. This is um, Crips, as I said. So uh, these should spread out quite nicely. They don't look much here. I've got one, two, three, four. I've got five of those plants. And um, f because I have a loyalty card with um, Emperor Tropicals, I got one of these plants free. So, um, what else I bought? I bought Java Fern, and this I'm going to put on the bogwood that's currently soaking in there. And it's wrapped in crap because I'm trying to keep the heat in in the water so I don't have to change it so much. I'm using uh, really hot water to get the tannins out quickly, and uh, I hate changing it, so I'm trying to keep the heat in as much as possible. Um, this is going to be attached to some bogwood. And uh, that's going to look pretty sexy. So, uh, mid-ground plants, I've got this. Uh, this is Rotala indicia, or indicia, whatever you want to, well, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's really nice. Obviously, this has been supplemented with iron in the shop. Um, it's got some leaves melting down here, but nothing to worry about, really. Roots are fairly poor. I mean, this plant doesn't make much roots anyway, but the roots it came with are pretty terrible, so I don't know. Let's see how it does. Um, that's going to be mid-ground. I've got three bunches of that. That's a lot. They put a lot in each bunch for that. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, now, these three things here are bunches of Jungle Val, uh, Valis Neria, or Valis, uh, whatever you want to call it. Um, this is just normal straight Valis. Um, no, it's not the uh, spiral Valis or the the curved one or the uh, the gigantic one or anything like that. It's just the regular type. And I thought I'm going to start off easy. This is going to grow fast. I'm going to separate out these bunches and create a nice curtain of this at the back of the tank. And that's going to be that's going to go along about two thirds away the back of the tank from uh, from left to right. Um, now here I've got two real big nice green Amazon swords. And uh, I, I don't think I've ever seen Amazon swords look this so nice, actually. They are really lovely. There's massive leaves on them. They look really nice. Look at those roots down there as well. They are some serious roots, um, considering I just bought them from an aquatic short store. Um, they're not from a plant specialist or anything. Um, so they are pretty serious, and I'm liking those. And they're going to go on the right-hand side. Um, of the tank near the back, maybe just in front of some jungle val, uh, behind a bit of driftwood. So uh, they're gonna, they're gonna like, they're gonna uh, just like pop over the top of the driftwood. They're just gonna lay themselves on top of it. It's gonna look really nice. And I just got this uh, little internal filter, just making a bit of current in here because I don't want it to go stagnant. And this is just uh, dechlorinated tap water. And I'll actually be using this to do a um, to refill my tank with tomorrow because. Um, yeah, don't, there's no real need to go get more water if I've got some here. So uh, today I did some filter maintenance, I did uh, change carbon, did all the cleaning and stuff, and um, you did everything I need to do with my filter. That way it's all done for tomorrow, got a nice clean filter. Uh, I've added a lot of uh, stress sign because my main concern is bacteria with this whole uh, tank makeover. 
because I'm going to be losing a lot of substrate bacteria. Um, so I just I just want to I don't know I'm I'm just worried about it really. So um, I might just get another ammonia test kit just in case and to see if uh, my uh, the one I have at the moment is like out of date or something because I just I just don't want anything to go badly. So um, oh yeah. My uh, CKM products, I haven't showed you those yet. I got the uh, Fundamentals pack, because it was cheap, 15 quid, for uh, three bottles this size, and that's not bad. And uh, what came in it was XL, which is um, organic carbon, and that's basically either um, an alternative to pressurised CO2, or um, you can add it extra and it will just give you amazing results. I will be buying some pressurised CO2 when I have the money. Uh, all this stuff came to about 50 quid for the plants and all this. So, um, I'm going to really need to save up some more. Uh, what else it came with? It came with iron, and that's going to be great for my Rotella and my um, Amazon swords, and uh, also the um, also the Crips as well, that's going to be good for them. Um, and I couldn't get any uh, iron tabs either, because I was going to get some plant tablets to put under the subs but I couldn't get any. So what I'm going to have to do is get some tomorrow when they get a new shipment in because that's when, when that's when their new uh, shipment comes in I have to pick some up then and uh, try and put them in the tank without disturbing the substrate too much um, what else did I get? I got yep, yeah, iron, XL and this is the trace elements um, trace elements are alright really I mean they're not as important as the general fer fertilizer or the iron uh, but they're gonna just they're gonna boost things your way basically they're gonna make it a, a bit easier for you. So uh, this is the main thing, it's Flourish, XL, um, not XL, sorry, that's the carbon, Seachem Flourish, um, that's just a general plant fertilizer. And uh, all these bottles say on them, uh, let's see, it says, <laughs> can I have a look now, it says, um, <laughs> 100 millilitres um, treats 20 gallons for four to six months. So I've got 35 gallons, so I'm, I'm reckoning three months of treatment, which isn't bad. I'm going to buy a bigger bottle after that. So uh, there's plants and products I've got, everybody. And uh, I hope you found this video useful. Um, I will obviously be doing the big tank makeover tomorrow, so th that video will be out tomorrow. Um, probably sometime in the afternoon is when I'll be, or maybe maybe the next day even, because I'm working in the evening, so uh, I probably won't have the chance to put the video up. I'll literally be flat out all day doing the uh, tank, and then I'll just have to shoot off to work. So, I don't know, I'll try and get it up whenever, but uh, yeah, I'm really excited about it. I need to get an early night so I can be up, crack of dawn, get going get stuff sorted so uh, so yeah thanks for watching everybody if you could like comment and subscribe